So in this tutorial, uh, we're going to figure out how to import references from a Sente library into a Word document. So what we can start with is uh, opening our library, the one that we're interested in, um, and then we can start making a Word document. So I'll just open a Word document here as well. Um, so here I have a lot of um, citations and let's say for example I wanted to um, get some information from um, this particular citation. So I got some information from models <coughs> for sustainable open educational resources and um, let's say I got some information from that article and now I'd like to cite that article in my Word document um, so I mean if you want you could do this yourself um, you could write here Downs 2007 Or, um, you could copy it from there. So let's say um, you want to copy it, you would just copy, you want to copy for now it as a citation tag using parentheses. So I would just click on it, uh, control C or command C, depending on whether you're on PC or Mac, and you put it there. Um, now don't worry about it not seeming to be in the right format. Um, we'll get to that in a second. But let's say uh, I got some more information from the articles in my library. And I got this information from this and this article in particular. Again, I would um, select them both using command on a Mac and copy. And I don't need these this parentheses and paste. And and again, don't worry. Th that it looks like they're pretty much just putting the last name of the author, the first author, and the year. Um, and don't worry about that. Uh, we will fix that in a minute. Um, but basically, at this point, let's say you're done writing the document and you want these citations to be in the correct format and also you want to generate um, for example uh, on a new page you'd like to generate the bibliography so you put in a bibliography tag which is basically writing bibliography uh, in parentheses So now you're done writing the document and uh, you want to basically get everything um, done. Um, you have to save it as a docx document. Unfortunately, um, Sente doesn't recognize a .doc document unless it's created in, Windows, uh, in Word 2004 and this is uh, Word 2008. So uh, you can... Um, <clears throat> Uh, save it as a dot docs. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Um, and there you go. So it's saved. So now what I'd like to do is scan it using Sente. And you um, go to a file, scan document. And it already recognizes that, recognizes that there's a document open. But um, if your document wasn't open, you could go to File, Choose, and I have the most recent first, so you could choose the document. But anyway, mine's open, so I'll just choose that. Um, I usually use APA, but journals like Genes, Brain, and Behavior use Harvard. Um, but I'll use APA 6 for the format of my citations. 
Um, the library is tutorial. Uh, I'd like, I've put my uh, citation tags in parentheses. And it is a scannable MS Word document. So now I'll pretty much just scan and wait for it. So again, it's recognized all of these, um, all of these citations, uh, which is great. And I will just save and open. So it'll s open another document. Um, now I didn't create the bibliography on another page, but I mean that's I can e easily fix that. But what you'll see now is these citations, the commas especially. So these are in APA six format, um, and uh, and so are these um, uh, citations. So. That's one way of creating a document with uh, your library. Um, another way of, and, and you know, you don't always have all the information in your library. Um, so I'll show you another thing that you can do. So let's say this is your original document. Uh, and I'm not really done yet. And, and just remember that there's a bibliography tag in there. So it's going to create a bibliography when I scan the document. But um, let's say I wanted to write some more. And um, I wanted to get my ideas from this particular um, article. And, um, you know, for example, I wanted... Um, I wanted, for example, to um, y use these references. Uh, of course, you know later uh, I should change the wording uh, and and such uh, because of plagiarism issues. But suppose I took this idea from this article, um, and I have a couple of references here. Um, and suppose I took another idea, and I just wanted to show you. Uh, a reference in which, uh, for example, here, it's not all in, uh, all in uh, the document. So I took this reference here, and now you have these ideas that I've taken from this article, and I want to be able to use them in my article. Um, the easiest thing to do uh, before you leave is to enter these. Uh, references into your library and the reason being I mean if you were just to like take these references and then have to come back that's a lot of references depending on what you're writing at the end of the document but it's just easier to do this right now so I have to find an article by Gorman 2002 so I'll just go to the references section um, and here is Gorman 2002. And I think the easiest way to do this is to just um, take the title of um, the publication, open Google Scholar, um, because that's uh, available, and um, look for it. And you'll see it's so easy. It's the first thing that pops up. And I'm just going to add it to my library. Now, I, there's no PDF here, um, but I don't really need the PDF. I've already got my idea, and I just want the citation. Uh, the next citation is um, Kastner and Corman. So um, here they are. Um, now, the problem with um, having cite books as citations is that they're not as easy to enter into your library. Now I'm going to try to find this. Um, I, I don't even think it's a book. I think it's some kind of a um, just some kind of a um, report. But let's just see what we get here. Right, so I mean if, it, if something is uh, this um, if it's, for example, not a research article, it's going to be hard to uh, get a citation into Sente. So I think it'd be much easier for me just to copy this and paste it underneath my bibliography. And eventually, uh, you know, it's going to be part of the bibliography when the rest of it is created. Um, and then um, the last um, uh, citation is Case et al. 2005. 
which is right here and uh, luckily it is a journal article so I'm just going to copy this and uh, search for it in Google Scholar okay here we go so this is case at all 2005 lasting impact um, lasting impact okay so I'm just going to add that and if I wanted to add the PDF um, for example I could just attach the case at all anyway so I have this library the orange circle of course means that I have not yet opened these references but anyway um I have that I have some ideas here I'm done with my document so I will save it and uh, um, Sente created another document um, but I'm going to um, not worry about that right now um, it's this document and I know it's this document because if you notice uh, Sente adds uh, in, in, in parentheses at the end uh, the format of citations that it's changed so I'm just going to delete this because I'm going to create a new one and, um, and so this so just to prove that point this uh, Sente will add in parentheses APA 6 at the end here for the new document but um, so for ex so right now I'm done with my document. I'm going to go to Sente, and um, I'm going to scan the document, um, and it's the one that's open. And again, AP six I prefer, uh, etc. etc. It's scannable. Now here's the problem. Um, sometimes you will have problems here, um, and it, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I think if you know, it's very obvious which of these, um, which of these uh, citations are here. So, uh, Gorman 2002. Um, I know I have it, so I'm just going to click here and drag it and connect it to that because I know that's that. Kaysner and Corman. Um, I'm just going to. Um, oh right, um, right. Oh that. So so this is the. Uh, citation where we added um, the the report so I'm not going to worry about that and then um, 2005 that's case at all so see how only the 2005 is in parentheses but um, all, all, all I have to do really is uh, drag case at all 2005 and attach it here and so I'm done and I'll just rescan it and save and open and you'll notice that my citation for Kaysner and Corman is still here I also have some uh, other citations um, uh, uh, I don't know why uh, there's two of these uh, but I'm just going to delete this one. Oh, sorry uh, it's not a citation um, basically I will move it and um, and again you know the problem is that um, you know then Sente will change these um, these uh, citations um, what you can do here there was an uh, example written uh, like e.g. and they they think it's unresolved so you can just I mean go ahead and delete that that's not important um, and here um, you know uh, there was 2005 written but then they added a citation again you can delete it um, I think you know I've shown you this just so you have some ideas of how these things work but um, I think it'd be much easier to just have the citations in brackets like these and that's the ideal uh, way to get Sente to insert these references um, and that's that's pretty much uh, how um, references are important into Sente and again you'll see that it just added APA 6 at the end of the document um, and and uh, yep that's pretty much it thank you